Hey everybody, my name is Seho and welcome to my channel. I'm loving life in Zimbabwe and um, today I decided I'll sh show you a tour of my garden and the reason why I'm doing this is like sometimes like certain people like my mom ask me um, what I have in the garden and I just thought to satisfy some of those curiosities um, to show you <laughs> a little bit. So we have this big rosemary bush here my husband is an artist and his art flows through his cooking and he's a great cook. He cooks a lot with rosemaries and a lot of times people can tell if I cooked or if he cooked just by the amount of herbs um, that is in the food and specifically which herbs he used. So that's the rosemary bush and next to the rosemary bush is the chives. Um, yeah, these kids walking around <laughs> and they're getting our dog excited, so that's where the noise is coming from. And over here is my moringa tree. Um, this tree, it looks great. I mean, the from the trunk looks great, the branches look great, but somehow the leaves have always been the sparsely populated, but the seed pods are quite a bit there's someone watering in the garden over here and we have Mali over here he stopped terrorizing the kids okay so one thing that I've learned since I'm married to a keen gardener is that there's no such thing as green pepper so when green pepper grows it begins to change color it becomes yellow like this one over here but sometimes it goes red so when it's green it's when it's still young but as it grows it changes color and then another thing about green pepper is that it's so sensitive um, uh, a lot of people struggle to grow it sometimes that's why the prices are a bit high with the green peppers and the red peppers and the yellow peppers because they are quite sensitive so what Amon did is that he grew it under a tree so it gets like half sun half shade and so it's it's been growing really really well um so you can see we have more uh, green pepper bushes there's more fruit over there there's more over there and um yeah and next to the green pepper is the eggplant before we'd had like a whole bed of eggplant and because it's just the two of us it was quite a lot and people don't really buy it um, as much especially the people in the neighborhood they don't buy it as much um, in fact no one really buys it sometimes we share it with friends and we use it a lot in our cooking it, it really just multiplies the food because it takes the taste of whatever you're cooking um, so we we use it in stews, like maybe when you do like a fried rice, even when you are brying, we bry it, you can cook it for breakfast and just fry the slices in butter. Um, we have more of it over here, but it's not really a popular thing. I think a lot of people don't really know how to cook it and so a lot of people don't um, buy it as much. But the one thing that they buy is what we have here, it's chomolia. It's a green leafy vegetable, kind of like spinach, but it has a tougher leaf. And when I was back home in Bots, it wasn't really my favorite, but here it's eaten a lot in Zim. Um, so I've come to love it. Uh, we never not have chamolia. <laughs> and actually, it really saves me. Like um, The other thing about uh, Zimbabweans is that they love the asaza or strala, whichever language you speak. They love their pap. Pap is like made of uh, maize meal. Uh, it's like cornmeal. Um, so it's like chamolia is the one thing that you can eat it with it. But also as well as meat. You can eat it just with chamolia, but you can eat it with meat. So men here especially love the asaza. And it saves me because it's like I don't have to think what to cook especially when you are married to someone who's creative in the kitchen uh i'm always wrecking my brain thinking what do i cook but because he loves pap um whenever i don't have a brilliant idea i cook saza and actually right next to it is the maze is the maze so i'll show you just now 
So I mentioned maize. Maize is like corn, except for it's not sweet. Um, corn, maize makes what we call pap, or it's sadza if you're shona, or strala if you're in Debele. I know Zambians, some Zambians call it nchima, and in Botswana we call it palichi, or <laughs> others call it papa. And it makes like a thing that looks like a mashed potato but it's different in texture it's like if you ever like made white sauce with cornmeal um and then you get too thick it's kind of like that but normally we we eat a thicker version of that so what you do is that this is this is crushed into like a flour and um that's what you boil to make a porridge and then you keep adding the dry flour to make it stiff and that's what pap is and so at this time of year, a lot of people, especially in the rural, they would have planted a lot of it uh, before rainy season and when the rains come and um, it grows. And so they dry it and when it's ready, they crush it and some people sell it and some people really keep it for later. It's like a real, a, a real staple here, uh, whereas back home we're just used to, <laughs> to getting it in the supermarket because we are not a farming culture in Zim I find that um, a lot of people plant it. The butternut here in between the chomolia was unintentionally grown. I think uh, <laughs> it was a case of um, just stray butternut uh, seeds that we ended up discovering and we decided to keep it um, so so far I've seen just the one fruit I haven't really noticed anywhere else if there's fruit over here is a bit of beetroot going all the way there it's like completely covered in weeds we were traveling when bought for my sister's wedding we ended up staying there almost two weeks and when we came back everything had overgrown but the beetroot is coming up and yeah we need to take care of the weeds before it starts choking um what we normally do with beetroot is that we've seen that we make more money out of it when we bottle it than when we sell it as vegetables so when we bottle it we can get five dollars out of the big bottle like we bottle it in like a bottle of mayonnaise we get like about five dollars as opposed to say maybe one dollar of a bunch and over here, we're watering, um, uh, what's this? It's lettuce. Yeah. And we do eat salads a lot, especially in summer when it's hot. But <laughs> our favorite way to have salad is a chicken salad. Really, it's just um, a quick meal. And it's the main reason why we grow lettuce. Um, and uh, we sell some, we eat some. Uh, sometimes we plant it with the intention of eating it and then someone comes and they buy a whole bed which is okay we like to make <laughs> a little bit of money when we can um, but yes this is our um, lettuce and right next to it is the cauliflower still very small the grass that you see here so there's a program called God's Farming God's Way uh, basically it's about the way that the Asians used to farm uh, which doesn't disturb um, the nutrients in the soil but what they have done with the grass here is what is called mulching basically you get grass or I don't know like twigs and stuff whatever you can find um, you put it on the bed what it is is it's, it keeps the moisture in the bed so your plants really don't ha need as much moisture as when they don't have the mulch and I've seen lettuce heads growing really really fast because of that it's great for plants um, I'll show you an ugly bush over here that's where we throw all our dead grass actually after we after we um, we mow the lawn we throw everything in that of course we also throw uh, of course we also throw uh, food scraps uh, vegetable food scraps for um, fertilizer and over here is um here is cucumber which has been watered this morning because it needs a lot of water it's a very watery fruit 
and it needs a lot of water when you're planting it right next to it is the spinach which is the alternative to the tromolia um, and then right next to it is the broccoli so yeah I can't wait until we harvest and I'll just take you on a quick tour this is the church garden I didn't mention but we stay in a church property so the garden I just showed you is our personal garden but the site we normally plant the church garden um, it was just being weeded to prepare for the next season of planting and uh, actually the beds were prepared a couple of days ago and we planted butternut and watermelon we really just wanted to plant uh, things that don't need a lot of water that the rain can take care of since it's rainy season and the other thing that we thought to put on the garden is um, the maize just to share with people in the community at this time and and over here i'm approaching i'm not sure why these weeds got skipped if there's something here important but i doubt it and right next to them is where the onions came from and right next to it oops i nearly fell <laughs> right next to it is the carrot <sighs> yeah like i said um two weeks of not being around and taking care of things uh there's weeds but the carrots are really ready for harvest i believe so it really doesn't matter it's just a matter of pulling out the carrot this is some of it here Oh, if I can just get in these weeds. So there's more. There's more carrot in the ground. So I'm sure after the onions have been taken care of, the next harvesting will be um, the carrots. Currently, there are some ladies who are working at the church. Right now, it's two ladies who have been weeding the garden they are uh they've been sorting out the onions and they're putting them in bags and yeah the idea of the garden was to help people in the community so that if you are struggling uh to make money you can come and plant your own bed and harvest it and sell it for yourself and that hasn't gone great so what the church has been doing is it's the church has been providing the seed and Amon has been uh, planting and he will hire people to come in weed, to come help harvest so that he can sell um, with the idea that those people can then earn a bit of income for themselves. So yeah, so I'll show um, the onions in part of this clip. All right, so that's all so far. Cheers. Hopefully I'll show you the vegetables when they are all ready for harvest bye and as i've mentioned we pickle some beetroot but also other things like chili wow. and gherkins so yeah Mm, I'm going to say that's new.